Hey guys, even here, so Arnold Classic is just about to happen, but before it starts, there are a couple of physique updates, a couple of photos and videos that got out in the past day, so I wanted to take a look at them and tell you what I think about them. First, we got an update of Big Ramy. Now, this update, apparently, based on Chad Nichols, isn't exactly recent. Originally, it was said that this update was taken at two weeks out of Arnold Classic, but then Chad said that it might have been even earlier. So, therefore, since we're not sure when this was taken, I'm not gonna focus on his conditioning right here, because if these were taken at two weeks out of Arnold Classic or four weeks out of Arnold Classic, there's a big difference. In four weeks, you can get crazy conditioned. I'm sure Big Ramy can. So if this was actually taken in January, as Chad says might be the case, then his conditioning could be completely different right now. And in these photos, Big Ramy's conditioning doesn't look that great. Let's be honest. Like, he's not super peeled. However, Chad did say that Big Ramy is bigger definitely much bigger than last year i think last year at mr olympia he was around 290 and this time around he was 310 pounds at about one week out so that's like a 20 almost 20 pounds difference which means he's bigger but does that mean that he's bringing the same conditioning it probably means he's gonna be less conditioned but maybe that's exactly what they're going for because he was very conditioned at the Mr. Olympia, but maybe because he was so conditioned, maybe that's why his triceps were flat, maybe that's why his abs were washed up, maybe that's why his lower back was gone, stuff like that, calves, forearms, arms overall, so maybe he was flat, maybe he just wasn't full enough, maybe he over dieted a little, and that's why he looked so wrong at the Mr. Olympia, so they decided to go with more size, more fullness, not going with crazy conditioning and sacrificing some of that fullness so maybe if he comes bigger and fuller he's gonna look rounder and those flaws won't be as visible so i'm thinking big Ramy going for size and for fullness i think that's definitely a better game plan than coming super conditioned with all that is going on with his body all the wrong things because i think they can be exposed more if he's super conditioned and not full enough so now if you look at these two photos and you don't really consider conditioning and you focus on what his actual problems were at the mr olympia like are those dents in the quads gone and are the triceps fuller because that's basically all you can see in these two photos and all of the updates that we saw of big remy and we haven't really seen a lot but those few that we saw were taken from the sides so he's not showing us his front poses and when he takes back photos he doesn't show his lower body which tells me he probably didn't fix all the problems because he's showing us the good poses the ones where he can hide those flaws so here you can still see like in the side leg you can see a little bump right there on both photos now i'm not sure how bad will this look from the front in these photos from the side you can see it, but it's definitely it looks smaller. I mean, I don't know even what it was. <laughs> Why would he have any dance in his quads? But it looks like they flattened out a little bit. Maybe it's gonna be different from the front. Maybe it just looks better from the side. I think they weren't really that visible from the side on the Mr. Olympia stage. I'm actually gonna compare photos from the Mr. Olympia now, these same poses. You're gonna see the difference, but I don't know. It might be a little bit better. Now, as far as triceps i don't know they, they, they might seem a little bit fuller and he did say actually chad did say that his triceps and back both were like 20 percent better improved more full you know rounder because they did look atrophied quite a bit in the mr olympia so in these two photos i think he does look better fresher fuller Obviously, his conditioning is not where it was at the Mr. Olympia stage, but these photos apparently aren't exactly recent. And here is a comparison, and this is actually a third photo that surfaced, uh, the one when he's doing the transition from side chest to side tricep. So you can see in the, in the upper photo that his triceps don't really look that full, that much better. So based on this, we can conclude that his triceps our best case scenario gonna be like chad said 20 percent better if that much and also in, in the upper photo you can see the dent in the quad that looks just the same as the mr olympia stage so i don't know if he fixed that i don't i don't think so in the lower photo 
I think his triceps do look a little bit fuller, but it could be just different posing, different lighting. So it's not really easy to compare these photos and to actually tell what is happening. But based on these two photos that surfaced, and based on everything that happened to Big Remy and everything that is happening right now, so basically if he doesn't have all the complications that he had at the Mr. Olympia stage, if you consider all that, and if he peaks better, he can, there is a big chance that he's gonna be better at the Arnold Classic than he was at the Mr. Olympia. And if that happens, is he gonna beat Samson again? Honestly, guys, I don't see it. I think he probably shouldn't have beaten Samson at the Mr. Olympia, and Samson looks better right now, so I will stick to my prediction. I don't have Big Remy in my top three or top five. I actually have him in my top six. So to me, based on everything, it seems like Big Remy is gonna be pretty much the same as he was at Mr. Olympia. Maybe fuller, maybe bigger, maybe drier, maybe, maybe overall better peaked, but not enough to beat guys like Nick Walker, Andrew Jack, Samson Dauda, Sean Clarida, William Bonek, because I think these guys are bringing something really, really good, and Big Remy's best days are, in my opinion, in the past, I don't see him coming back from what we saw at the Mr. Olympia and bringing something good again, so I think his career is at the very end, we'll find out soon enough, I could be totally wrong, I mean, I hope I'm wrong, I hope Big Remy has 3, 4, 5 more years of being the top guy, but my opinion is just that, I don't see it. Also, there is this photo when RX Muscle did an interview with Big Remy, and you can see his face, and I think Big Remy is one of those bodybuilders that when they are conditioned, you can see it in their faces, so you can conclude based on his face how shredded he's actually gonna be. Does he have a dead face? I mean, he did shave, so you can kind of see the lines better, but yeah, I think he's in okay conditioning, I mean, I don't think he's super shredded, I don't think he's uh, off, I don't think so, he's not bloated in the face, so I think he's just fine with conditioning, I think he's going to be really conditioned like he was at the Mr. Olympia, something like that, now the only thing is whether he fixed all the atrophy, all the, all the problems, all the, all the injuries, and I don't think he did. There is also a photo with Andrew Jacked. Now, this guy hasn't really shown anything for the past, I don't know, more than a month, I think. So we have no idea what he's bringing based on his circumstances. I think he's going to bring something great because, again, he's coached by Chris Asito and he has a trainer who is really forcing him. So it's expected. And he wasn't at his best at the Mr. Olympia. So he's probably going to bring something crazy. In my prediction, I have him winning. So we'll see. But based on this face right here, I think he's bringing good conditioning because his face does look chiseled. I think Chris Asito really knows what he's doing. I think Chris Asito is going to bring something crazy out of Andrew Jacked. Because, I mean, look at what he brought with Ramon Dino. Chris Asito is coaching Ramon Dino. And Ramon Dino is bringing the best conditioning that we ever saw of him ever. I'm pretty sure about that. I mean, look at the glutes. Look at the crazy vascularity in the quads and the, and the calves, now here he put a tan on, it takes some time for the skin to absorb the tan, until then you don't really look super conditioned, uh, here you can see his conditioning actually when he doesn't have the tan on, so he looks dry, really dry, especially those quads and, and calves, and also his overall upper body everywhere, like he, I don't think he ever was this conditioned before, and he looks very fresh as well, which is surprising, he competed just recently, so it's kind of, it can be tricky to maintain that freshness, I don't think many of these guys are gonna be able to do it, but as you can see, that's not gonna be the case with Ramon Dino, he brought, he's bringing crazy, crazy package, I think he's better than the Mr. Olympia, I think he's definitely in better conditioning, and I'm sure he's gonna get fuller by the time he's on the stage, is he the favorite to win this show? Of course he is, he was second on the Mr. Olympia, he was in the call out with Chris Bumstead, but based on the look, just the look, he definitely looks like there is no competition for this guy, it's gonna be like as easy as it is for Chris to win the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna crush everybody, including Urs Kalecinski, whose face does look also very chiseled, so I'm sure he's gonna be shredded, I'm sure he's gonna be completely fat free, but as you can see right here, you can see his arm, like, he looks a little bit burnt out, and I don't remember when was the last time Urs actually had an off-season, so he has been going from show to show to show to show for the past, like, three years, 
So eventually your body is going to burn out. And I think this is going to be the case. I think this is going to be the, the, the stage where you're going to witness that. I think his body uh, ate itself. I think it's tired of being constantly starved and tortured in so many ways. Like he has been really pushing the envelope for so long. And who knows what he's doing with the gear because he's always competing. So I'm pretty sure what he's doing is not super healthy. Not just for his like for his organs and for his overall longevity, but for his look. I think he I think he over tortured his body, and I think it's gonna show on this stage. Even if it doesn't, even if he's really good, he's not gonna win the Arnold Classic. He's gonna be second. I, there is no way he can beat Ramon Dino. I don't see it. I don't think it's possible at all. So I think it's time for Urs to take some time off, you know, and to grow, to improve his upper body because he's amazing. He's great. His legs are really, really good, but his upper body needs improvements, so he needs some time off. I hope he's going to take the time off after Mr. Olympia, because I would love to see him fulfill his maximum potential. And finally, we get to see a full physique update of Patrick Moore, and we haven't really been able to see his legs for a long time. I mean, not like this in a pose. So based on this... I don't know, I mean, his legs were never great, and they don't look great right now, uh, he did, I think he did improve overall size and fullness, I think he's gonna be better, but mainly in the upper body, as far as legs, I don't see, I don't see big improvements, I think, he, I mean, his genetics are like that, so his, his legs probably don't respond as well as his upper body, and there are guys with small legs, like, for example, Brandon Curry, who, I mean, who won the Mr. Olympia, so maybe it's not gonna be that much of an issue, but I don't know, I don't think his legs are as, as good as, as Brandon's, I think Brandon has much better legs. It's not just the size, it's just, it's also the, the, the insertions and the shape of those quads, the way that the, all the heads in the quad uh, muscle are shaped, so I think it's, it's mainly genetic. So I think that's gonna cost him a few spots. As far as his upper body, I mean, here you can see that he looks pretty big, pretty wide, but take a look at this video. You can get the idea of where his conditioning is. I think he is bringing good conditioning. Aside from good conditioning, I think he is bringing better fullness, better hardness, and I think he did improve a little, and he looks very fresh, right? I mean, he has that fresh look like he looks like somebody who hasn't really been bodybuilding for too long and that is the case like he started bodybuilding like i don't know not 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 a long time ago like uh, relatively recently uh, because he has been doing i think king boxing for a long time and then he started bodybuilding when he was a little bit older so you can see that look at his back i mean look and see, you can see the freshness in his physique he does look very fresh he looks younger than he really is and I think this guy is the dark horse of this show. He can actually surprise many people and, and beat some of the guys that he's not expected to beat. I mean, this lineup is incredibly tough, but I feel like he's gonna bring something pretty good. We'll see very, very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding videos and videos about Arnold Classic that is about to happen, guys, please stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.